superstar athlete going into college town, man, everything is yes for you. Everything. There's no such thing as no for a superstar athlete in a college town, right? So I'm used to the TVs and the, and, the, and, the, and the radio and the interviews and the signing autographs with the kids and the t-shirts and the bars. I'm used to all that, right? But the very next year, I was the same guy, like I just said, delivering meat lovers, pizza with wings and some cinnamon sticks, <laughs> you know, and a heat wave to your doorstep, right? And I used to always get in trouble. You know, Domino's used to have this thing that said, if the pizza's not there in 30 minutes, everything's free. All my pizza was all going free. You know what I'm saying? I used to keep money and all this kind of stuff. I used to spend 20 minutes explaining to the people that knew me why it you saw me in a Domino uniform. And not in an NBA uniform. They used to have, I used to have to put a sign on my car, right? Like nighttime, I had a sign. I, I, look, I would leave the Domino deal, and I would go right around the corner, park the car, plug the sign, I'll take the sign off my car, and then go drive to the deal. Because I just not want to be seen like the nighttime ice cream man, you know, and, and my dog on there. And it was so humiliating for me because I got to a point where I just realized, I just let myself, and a lot of people do this, right? You start to rationalize low income positions. Right. And I used to tell people, you know, man, Domino's ain't that bad. Man, I get tips every single day. At least I get my money every day. I like to have cash in my pocket. You know? We said, well, Twan, you know, my mom used to say, Twan, why don't you just go get a real job? Well, I could, at that time in my life, I couldn't go get a real job because I was still in the pursuit of my dream, right? And if my, I had to have the freedom that if my agent called me and said, Twan, we gotta go, we gotta go work out in New York and LA for this team, I, I needed to, you to, I had to drop, I had to drop it down, I had to pick up a bag and just go take a flight, right? It was already booked. So I, in my apartment, I always had a, a packed bag ready to go. So I couldn't have the normal two week, you know, notice and all that kind of stuff. So I did download to keep changing my pocket and, and what was supposed to be a six month stint until I got an MBA or a professional deal somewhere, it was supposed to be a six month stint, but six month stint turned into a two, three year career. Wow. Because like most people, you start to rationalize and make everybody around you feel good about your low state. And so this is the place I was in when I got introduced to Prime America. When I saw the presentation, I'll be quite honest with you, my, my reason for doing the business was not about financial education, even though you got a world, you get a world class financial education. It wasn't necessarily even, I mean, directly about the money. To be honest with y'all, the number one reason that I started Proud America was for status. And that's an uncommon thing, but it is. I come from an athletic background, right? And everything about, everything about me is being somebody. And I got this rule, you know, all money is not created equal. It spends the same, but it's not created equal. There are certain things that you're just not going to get me to do for a dollar or tie my name. Because I'm better than that, right? Y'all said y'all spiritual people, right? right? But think about it, if you truly believe, and I, I, I think I'm actually one of the very few people in the world that actually believes that I'm the son of a king. I promise you, I think that because if you really truly believe that, like deep down in your heart, listen to me, if your dad is a king, that means he's royalty, right? right. He made everything, right? right? And you his child. So think about this, what king, what royal king has a child peasant? Think about it, nothing. Look, I, I naturally walk into a natural inheritance. You understand, when you give your life to Christ, you be part of inheritance. True, true, mm. absolutely. So why, you gotta ask yourself, as a child of a king, why do, you accept, why do we keep accepting crumbs from people? My dad is a king, so when I got, when I got, when I got introduced to Prime America, everything was about status because I felt like I just wasn't living up to the family name, man. And I'm talking spiritual, not even my, 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 not even my, I wasn't living up to it. I, I was at a point where people could not see how powerful God was in my life because I was living like the peasant, man. I'm, 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 I'm fighting on where I'm at, where I'm at eat. I'm living in a dog room. I was staying with a friend of mine in a back room with two pit bulls on a dog room food truck, man. <laughs> And so when I saw Pro America instantly, I said, holy crap, this was my out. This was an opportunity for me to regain my economic status, for me to be somebody. Yeah, the money was going to come because I knew I was going to apply myself. Think about whatever you're doing right now for a living, you took time to get good at it. So I said, guess what, I'm an adult. My ability to learn hasn't stopped. I still, everybody in this room to this day still has the ability to learn and do something. I'm so freaking proud today. You don't know, realize my dad? Right, he's 63 years old, just passed his light test. <laughs> 63 years old, just passed his light test. 63 years old. Yeah, he's a piece of the new plan. Because it means, guess what? If you still have breath in your body, your life is not over. You still have an assignment. Right. 
There's still work that needs to be done. Your purpose of your life is tied to a group of people, taking them to the next level, helping them solving their problem, like Sean talked about. Oh, you know? And so nevertheless, you know, you gotta, you know, you so, but you need a vehicle though, and that's what Prime America is, and that's what it was for me, right? Allow me to be like Shabbat said, allow me, allow me to be the financial MVP of my family because I was sick, so sick and tired of being a nobody. And one of the things that parents sell kids, and I, I think this is the wackest thing in the world as I, as I, as I go into the rap show, amazing to me. Do we have any educators in the house? Educators, right? Very, very good. Anybody that's just real big on education, you know, or you have, or have you ever been told that education was the key to success, or you know, or, or you ever told somebody that if you really want to be successful, you got to be educated? Anybody ever experienced that on either side? Yeah. 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 Well, you know what's crazy about me? I mean, I'm not even what's crazy about, about the economy we live in, people. When it comes to academics, when it comes to academics, the standard of excellence is extremely high on care, on immature mentalities, right? Every parent wants their child to be an honor roll student. Want to make be an honor roll, want to make the A honor roll. I really thought about this. Do you know what it means for a child to make the A honor roll? That means on all the subjects that was presented to them, to presented to them, math, science, religion, reading, whatever it is, they got every question right on every test. Oh, they didn't work. If they got something wrong, they got so many, uh, so few things wrong that they, 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 they report call was all A's. Gosh, you know how tough that is to make all A's on every subject? Right, but we have this standard of excellence on children. One of the biggest problems I think in our, our economy right now is you got strong kids and weak adults. The only people getting challenged on getting better or getting smarter or, or fighting harder or making the great is kids. But at the end of the day, these are eight year old, eight year old, ten year old people. And, 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 and don't let a child come home with a C or a D. Most parents will go nuts. They take their toys away from them, they take their extracurricular activities away from them, right? But the reality of it is, do you realize even though a kid would bring a CRD home, he, he or she would still pass from one level to the next? They would still move on. Even though they would be barely making it, they still would move on. No child would fail with a CRD. They would barely make it, but guess what? Most parents don't accept that. That's, that's amazing how when it comes to academics, the standard of excellence is so high, but when it comes to your doggone income as an adult, your standard of excellence is so low. Most people, most people, parents will try to convince their kids that you know what? Man, it ain't about being rich. It ain't about having a book. It's not about all that. It ain't about the things. No, it's about, guess what? It's about being comfortable. We're going to live decent. I said, you know what the word comfortable starts with? You know what a decent life starts with? A B. Academically, C is a D is unacceptable. But economically, for your grown behind, a C is D is what you're going to convince your kids. Let me help you out. Every child wants a parent they can brag on. Every one of them do. The hell you think career day is about? <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all careers suck, and that's, a, that's unfair to your children because you force your children to go idolize somebody else with a career they respect. So when I looked at, and I'm telling you, and it's so amazing, when I looked at Prime America, it was everything for me. It gave me, it was going to give me status, it was going to give me importance, it was going to give me value, I was going to make a ton of money. When I had, we got three kids, my oldest daughter is eight, my son is five, my baby girl is six months, but man, guess what, my daughter, my daughter, she takes over her classroom because she wants all her kids to come to our house. Right? And she's proud of her parents, she's proud of her daddy. She's proud of her mama. All they know, they don't even know the tough times. They don't even know the tough times. We don't talk about it. Because my whole my part of my obsession is we're going to get so dog on filthy, nasty, stinky, dirty rich. And guess what? When I tell you stories of how bad it was, it's going to be hard to believe. 